a dilemma trying to decide what to wear for New Year's Eve. Um, I'll be inside most of the night. I'm going to Medieval Times, uh, so it'll be an inside event once we get in. But then afterwards, we want to watch the fireworks of Broadway on the beach, so we'll be outside, and it's really cold colder than it's supposed to be here. Um, I think the temperatures are going to dip into freezing temperatures on New Year's Eve night and the high on New Year's Day is going to be like 39 and this has gone down again. So really cold. It is so cold that even though my thermometer in my house says that it's 70 degrees, I'm freezing. Um, so I don't even want to try clothes on. But this is one choice. I'm trying to stay warm. This duster, which I just loved when I saw it, I bought at Ross Dress for Less this weekend. It was $19.99. And it's a nice velvet embroidered duster. And I thought it might look good with this black turtleneck, red jeans that are faded a little bit. I've had them for a while. Because this is, um, it's red, but it's like a shaded red. So, and then my old black boots. So, I spent $19.99 on the duster. Everything else I already had for a long time. Um, so, this I'm thinking... Possibly, but I'm going to try a few more things. Um, I like that it has slits in the side so it doesn't look like a house coat. Um, so I don't know. What do you think? Is this a go or not? I'm going to go try another one. second choice and at the moment I'm leaning more towards this because it is medieval times. The only problem I have with it is it's going to be so cold. Um, it's got ruffled arms and scallop top off the shoulders, the peplum waistband to hide the belly. The top was $23.99 on Amazon.com. I just got it like a week ago. The belt was $8.49 on Amazon.com. It attaches in the back of the Velcro. This is a skirt that I actually got at Goodwill. I know it seems like I do that a lot, but it has a lining, so I don't need to wear a slip. The boots came from JustFab.com. They were around $20. I didn't like that they were over the knee, but the higher up, the better. As cold as it's going to be. This is just uh, an old necklace I had laying around. Um, so I'm thinking about this. I want to make sure I'll be comfortable because we will be there for several hours. I think I look a little bit medieval. Um, the flared skirt helps with the hourglass effect. The belt cinches in the peplum top. This is very similar to an outfit I wore last week that had a black skirt and a dark green peplum top. But I like this, so I'm thinking about it. The top is actually too big. But I'd rather it be too big than too small. Um, and I think it does a pretty good job of hiding my flaws. So right now, this is kind of at the top of my list for what I'm going to wear for New Year's Eve. Those last couple of outfits I showed were a bit blurry, and I do not know why. I'm playing with my camera trying to figure out what was wrong then. But I thought this was a perfect time 
to show you what I start out looking like without doing any extra measures to look better. I have coconut oil on my face because of a complication I created trying new eye creams. I'll tell you about that in a different video. And my hair is just straight and shaggy. And I just threw on pants and socks and a sweater. Now I'm going to show you how I look if I don't do anything extra. And it doesn't take that much to do a little extra. I hope. I'm going to show you. Um, this is what I look like with no extra measures, no spanks, no care to my hair. This is me. My socks don't even match if you can see those. Um, so I'm going to go and just do five minutes worth of things to show you that it makes a big difference. I hope it makes a big difference. <laughs> Sometimes my days don't go as I planned them. Okay, it took me eight minutes, but that included the time to look for everything. So I put my hair up, saw a scarf laying around, grabbed that, put it on too, threw on some earrings, a necklace that sort of matches the pants, put on my boots instead of my mismatched socks, and the key thing, Spanx. These are not very tight Spanx but they at least smooth everything a little bit. It does not make my tummy go away completely, but it smooths it out so I don't have so many lumps and bumps. Um, so this is Spanx. Not holding it in. This is Spanx holding it in. You're not going to hold it in all the time. This sweater is a little wrinkled and it's just the nature of the sweater. Um, but that's five minutes. I put a little blush and lipstick and a swoop of eyeshadow. And if I was really going to a party, um, this would be a very casual winter, winter party look. If I was really going to a party, I'd probably spend a little more time on my face. Um, and that's about it because I want to have fun and relax. But... It took me eight minutes. That's the time to walk to my bedroom, walk back, do the hair, put on the Spanx, earrings, necklace, a little more makeup, and the boots. Eight minutes. You can take eight minutes to look a little better. Because when you look better, you feel better. When you feel better, you act better. You will be nicer and friendlier and more lively in your conversations. So put that extra eight minutes or go a little further. Give it 16. Hi there again. I'm having extreme camera problems today. Um, I did have a problem with my camera blurring and now I have a problem with my camera downloading onto my computer. So I'm going to finish this video if it kills me, and I'm going to try to do it with the camera on my computer, which I have never done a full length before. I don't even know how far back I have to go. This outfit that I have on is the fourth and final of this video. It came from Ross Dress for Less. I went there the day after Christmas thinking they would have some huge clearance sales, which they did not have. Their prices are low all year long. And when I asked them about their clearance sales, they did not have any. So I could have gone any day. It didn't have to be the day after Christmas. Um, but I saw this duster top from afar. When I was walking into the store and I said, oh, this is beautiful. i got to have it. So I ran over and I looked at it. And it was only $12.99. So I said, well, I'm trying that on. And I had my stack of seven things I was going to try on. And um, as I was walking through the store, I found the tank top, which is a perfect match and has a little fancy detail on the back. Um, so I grabbed it too. And it was $10.99. So $12.99 for the duster, $10.99 for the tank top. The pants are some I already had. I still have my spanks on. 
and the the waistband in these pants is kind of worn out they were nice pants when I got them I bought them at Dillard's they were a size 4 I was probably a size 8 then but um, you know they put smaller numbers on the higher price clothes and I've had them for I don't know maybe 20 years and the waistband is so loose that it doesn't dig in at all and that's what you want when you have a belly that's what you want really anytime because you even if you're kind of skinny, if you have really tight clothes on, the little itty bits of layers of flat fab and fat will just hang over. So loose is better. Baggy is not good, but loose is better. My husband just came in, which he often does when I'm in the middle of a video. Very often. So I very often have to start over. But I'm not going to let that bring me down today. I'm just going to continue on and let you know, yes, I have a husband. Yes, he walks in at inopportune times. And I have to work around him and other people and things in my life. So um, I'm going to try to walk back far enough for you to see the whole view. But if not, I will take a photograph of this outfit as I am of the other outfits. And those things will be at the end. How far? No not going to work. I can't go back so far. But the duster, let's see if I can stand on my tippy toes. The duster is just just longer than fingertip length if you stretch your fingers as far as they can go. And the pants are just long straight black pants. Um, I'm going to finish this up while I can before my husband comes strutting in the door again and um, start getting work on my cleaning after Christmas. You know, we women do that. Usually it's us women. We, we clean before Christmas when we're putting up the decorations because we move things that haven't been moved in a while. Then we clean after Christmas because there's, in my case, tinsel and dust and wrapping paper and all kinds of things hiding in every nook and cranny. So we clean then. So this is my after Christmas cleaning. So let's call the New Year's cleaning. We're starting the new year as clean as we can be. And then we have spring cleaning. And of course we have company is coming in. They might see the dust on my ceiling fan cleaning. I personally have to clean pretty often because I run a daycare in my house and the kids throw food and slobber and everything else all over the house and I'm constantly running around cleaning it up um, for many reasons but one so they don't get each other's germs and so I don't feed roaches or whatever else might come in the house and you want your house clean right right and I have people coming in my house every day to pick their children up and drop them off so I want everything to be kind of shiny and clean when they come in. It's okay if I have toys scattered everywhere because the kids do that every day. And I generally wait until the end of the day when they've all gone home before I pick everything up. But I do pick it up every day. And I usually run around with a broom and a mop after they've gone too. I'm not a clean freak, but I do like to keep my house clean. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I hope I gave you some tips on how to cover that belly during your party times. And I hope everybody has a wonderful new year. I have a lot of plans for next year. Um, I don't always do what I did this year. This year I wrote a bucket list. And then I went on Groupon and bought all these experience things for my husband as Christmas gifts. So I already have my vacations planned for next year and all kinds of little outings and good fun things to do. And I'm absolutely determined it's going to be a fabulous new year. It will be. If you want it to be and you focus on it being a good year, it will be a good year. If it's not a good day, you start over again the next day. Every day is a new opportunity to start good. Every minute is a new opportunity to start good. And no, I'm not a positive, easy, overly optimistic person. Sometimes I wake up so depressed I don't want to get out of bed and see no reason to do so, but I do it anyway. Um, if you think good things, good things will happen to you. Bad things might happen to you too because there's some bad people out there. But Think good things and let good things come to you. Happy, 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 
happy, happy, happy. I'm really close now because I have to get up here to turn this thing off. Happy, happy. Oh, we're not going in the right direction. <laughs> I never told you I was a computer whiz. Happy, happy new year.